Hello, 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 my sunshiny friends. How are you? Um, yes, I'm in the same outfit that you may have seen in another video. I am going away, so I'm trying to get some videos um, ahead of schedule for you. Um, so let's talk about compounds. This is not something that I generally do on this channel. I don't usually do research type things and all of that, um, but things are changing yet again. So let's discuss it. Hello, hello, hello. I am Cheryl. This is my channel. If you are new here, we have been on a um, roller coaster of an adventure in weight loss for five months, one week, or 158 days. Um, there are many people um, across YouTube that are doing the same thing that some of them are more research based that you might want to go check out for some of these types of content or this particular type of content. So I am considered or I consider myself to be one of the lucky ones. My medication, so Zepbound is what we're talking about. Terzepatide is the medication that is in these pens. These pens are produced by Eli Lilly is the um, pharmacy like manufacturer for these. Um, I am covered by insurance. My insurance covers it because I am considered obese. Now I'm not proud of that, but because of that, I am covered for my medication. So Zepbound and Manjaro are two different pens, two different name brands of the same medication. If you unfortunately have been diagnosed with type two diabetes, you have a high A1C, you can be prescribed or your doctor may prescribe for you Manjaro, which is the exact same medication, terzepatide, in whichever dose is prescribed for you in the exact same pens, just different labels. If you are obese with a BMI of over 30, you're considered obese, your doctor may or can prescribe you Zepbound and it may or may not be covered by your insurance. My insurance happens to cover this medication. Back in December, I believe it was, of 2023, the FDA approved Zepbound for weight loss if you are diagnosed with obesity and insurance companies were then covering. I don't know that all insurance, or, or to the best of my knowledge, not all insurance companies currently cover weight loss medication. I consider myself extremely, extremely lucky and fortunate. I do have um, relatively good insurance, which is why I've kept my job and why I um, have just changed positions within the same realm to keep my same insurance. I have relatively good insurance. I hold the insurance, not my husband. My son works at one of the biggest companies um, in the state and my insurance is better than his. So I know how fortunate I am. That being said, that is not the case for everyone. Not everyone has insurance. Not everyone has good insurance. Not everyone has um, diagnoses that are covered in the umbrella of coverage. Maybe someone's BMI is 29, but they're still struggling with weight loss their entire life. And that one you know, point shouldn't prevent them from being able to obtain this medication. However, that is the case. And because this has been the case for many people, um, compounds have become a big thing. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, and my feelings may be different if I was in that large number of people who wasn't covered. Then, or if I all of a sudden, see if I wasn't covered, then I wouldn't know any different. I would have never been on the medication and known how great it was. It might've just been, you know, it is what it is. 
but if I come to a point where my medication is no longer covered, my opinion could greatly change. Well, I don't even want to say opinion because I don't really have an opinion right now. Right now, I'm just doing what my doctor is saying and what I'm seeing from Eli Lilly. And I say that with a grain of salt because obviously Eli Lilly is the manufacturer or actually they're just Lilly now. Lilly is the manufacturer of the medication and they want everybody to get the, man the medicine through them. So they're not thrilled with these compounding companies, right? So back in June, June 20th of 2024, Lilly actually um, put out a statement. They released an open letter about compounding. Um, and that, you know, they're really not happy about it. And that they basically are saying that for these reasons, um, the safety of the patients is their big concern. And the reasons being inappropriate use, um, being cosmetic use and people under 18. The people under 18 is, is a little crazy. However, if anybody watched the Oprah series, you know that like children have struggled with this, with weight loss, with obesity for you know, I was one of them. So the under 18 thing, I don't know, that would have to be like under like super, super doctor care, strict doctor care. Um, the cosmetic use thing, I have to say that is crazy to me. So, you know, the book of face is like, you see all the things, right? And someone that is on my page who is not not even fat, not thick, not any of the things. Beautiful, beautiful person. Um, recently started posting pictures and it was apparent something was up. And I have heard through the grapevine that um, this particular person had been using Ozempic. And I was kind of thinking that that was the thing because you could see the face and they say Ozempic face. Let me tell you. So I don't think it's healthy. And this person and what I'm seeing doesn't appear to be healthy. And it scares me for that person. Um, so the inappropriate use, like I can absolutely see. I cannot imagine that any doctor in their right mind who holds a license would have prescribed any type of weight loss medication for this person. This person was not heavy in any way. Super athletic, all into weight training and all the things. Um, thought that this person looked fantastic prior. So I'm assuming, again, you know what happens when you assume, but um, I, I don't think that this was doctor prescribed. That is concerning that people, you know, who may weigh 100, 125 pounds think it's necessary to weigh 95 pounds and are taking this medication. That is concerning to me for sure. And if they're getting it through compounding agencies or health spas or all of those things, that is a huge concern. Um, so other concerns that Lily has is that um, Manjaro and Zepbound are the only FDA approved terzepatide medication. So that's where some people may say, well, they don't want anybody else to have the medication, obviously, because they want all the money. But if the FDA has only given Lily the authority to be distributing terzepatide, that concerns me where is it coming from for these compounding agencies um so that i just i i don't even know people are saying china and all these other things i wouldn't even i don't know how to look at that information find that information out i don't even want to know i know my medication is coming from where the fda says and I'm sure that some of us have feelings about the FDA and other things too. We're not going to get into any of that. I'm just talking about what Lily is putting out there right now. Um, unsafe online social media ads. I'm sure most of you have seen. If you're on TikTok, if you're on the Book of Face ads, um, sometimes on YouTube, if you're doing shorts, the ads that are coming through for people... And this is going to sound stupid to say, 
but it's always skinny people, right? It's always skinny people that are doing these ads. Be like, this is the greatest thing ever. Um, go hit my link. And they want you to shop through them. That scares me right there. Um, anytime somebody's going to make money off of me for anything, right away, I'm like, mm, I don't think so. And I, I don't care if it's, you know, somebody that's saying like, eat these cookies. And now there's a link. Yeah, I'm not eating the cookies. Um, and that's why I have said to you guys many times, I swear by these things, I'll never post a link. I don't have an Amazon store, none of those things. I just chew these damn things. And you know what? I, I don't know if it's because I've been telling you guys about them. I, I know it's not because of that. But I've used them. So I just, I, I'm getting a new bottle today. And I think that'll be my fourth Prescri uh, prescription, my fourth bottle that I've ordered and I've been order ordering through Amazon. Um, they started at $8.99, then they went to $9.99. I ordered them yesterday, they're $13.99. Like, is it just because I'm ordering them or is it like because more people are buying that? Like, I don't know, but dang. I was like, really? It's like the one thing that I swear by, I have to have these and the price has gone up on those. So unsafe online social media ads, guys, just be super, super, super careful, please. If somebody, like as soon as somebody comes through and I see them like, I, I just swipe away. I don't want any of my social media things to think that I'm interested in that and keep showing me more. Apparently I need to move. Um, this is new, I am trying it out. Um, so when it does anything, I drink water. Even if it's not telling me to drink water, it did something. It's telling me to move and I'm not going to move right now, but I'm going to drink water. Um, so basically it's saying that non-lily terzepatide can put people at risk. It could be unsafe. Um, and then it just goes on to say that they have um, like the reasons why some of these things are bad. Um, they stand against the use of medicines for cosmetic weight loss, obviously. Um, that um, it should be prescribed by a doctor. A lot of these compounding pharmacies are using doctors, so that's tricky. And then there's a, a like a phone number or a place to click if your doctor has questions. And then they're just reiterating that they're not for Manjaro or Zepbound. They're not promoting um, persons under 18 using the medication. They're not promoting any social media posts or ads or anything like that. And that they're the only FDA approved distributor of the actual medication. So this is, um, they have lawsuits and everything. Super, super, super interesting because um, the way it stands right now, apparently compounding agencies, so this is confusing to me, compounding agencies are lawfully allowed to distribute this medication when the medication is in a shortage. So we have been in a shortage with Zepbound, Manjaro, Ozempic, Wygobi, all the things, all the GLP ones for quite some time. We're coming out of that finally. So if we were in a shortage and Lily is saying this medication is um, only terzepatide can be obtained through them, but the FDA was allowing it as long as Lily was in a shortage, then where is it coming from? Like that, I, I'm just, I'm, I, I, I'm like, I'm so confused by it. I, does that confuse anybody else? Is it then okay to get it from another country? Is that where it's coming from? I just don't understand. If it says right here that like, they're the only distributor. Lily is the only distributor of terzepatide in those two forms, Manjaro and, Terze and Zepbound. Only people that have legal access to distribute that medication. But then the FDA is saying, if that company doesn't have, if they're in shortage, compounding companies are allowed to sell it. Where is it coming from? I, I'm, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Um, but I'll, I'll probably never understand. So we have just been, we, Zepbound has just been taken off of the shortage list, which means 
it won't be lawful for these companies. So then are all these compounding companies just gonna shut down or are they gonna find another way around something? So I was on Reddit, which I never do, but I was just looking at some stuff. Um, and in reading some different things, people were saying that, you know, it's their understanding that the only reason the compounding is allowed on the patent medication is that Eli Lilly is not currently able to satisfy demand on theirs. Only, so, but again, like, I don't understand, like, where is it coming from? Where are they getting that? So another commenter commented on here that he was actually a patent attorney. And he basically said that, um, he also takes compounds. So I'm assuming that he doesn't take compounds because of anything. I mean, he doesn't take the medication because of anything on that list. Like he's not diabetic and getting Manjaro and he's not obese to get the, the Zetbound. Um, but he's saying that in everything he's read and researched, that it doesn't look promising that these companies will be able to um, stay in business legally and they'll have to shut down and then people won't be able to get the medication that way. So I'm like really all over the place on this because I know that there's, I, I'm almost certain that there's some of you here that are taking compounds and I don't, I have no opinion on that. I just hope that everybody's safe um, because some people can't get the medication the way that I've been able to obtain the medication, whether it's their insurance, whether it's cost, whether um, they're at that 29, 29 and a half BMI, um, and you absolutely still deserve it. If you've struggled, I think everyone should have access. So what's gonna happen now? Like, is, is this gonna be a thing? Are they gonna find another way around this? And then if the compounds stop, and people find ways to get the Zep out of the Manjaro, are we just gonna go back into a shortage? Like this just seems like a crazy, I had no idea that this was really a thing. I don't really take any other medication that I need health wise. I take over the county allergy medicine. I take the Walmart brand. That's $1.48 for two weeks supply. <laughs> it works really well for me. I have taken allergy medication my entire life since I was in high school. I've had severe allergies. Um, but prescription wise, I don't take anything else for health. So I've never encountered anything like this where something is in demand or like had to do any research like, oh my God, I can't get my medication or something like that. So this is all just like wild and crazy to me. So I am curious, um, anybody else's thoughts, um, if you are affected by any of this news that's coming out that you know we're all kind of following along with, um, it, it breaks my heart and I'm sorry and I hope that you can figure out um, you know, how to obtain your medication. And I just hope everybody's being safe. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch base because I know currently, the Zepbound shortage, the Manjaro shortage, the Wygovi shortage, the Ozempic shortage is slowly coming to an end. Who knows what will happen again in a few months down the line. And i um, curious to see how all of this plays out as far as the compounding companies and, um, and what happens with all of that. So we'll just stay tuned. As I see information, I will continue to bring it to all of you. If any of you have any thoughts or opinions on it, feel free to drop them down in the commenties down in there. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys real soon. Everybody have a good one. Bye. Hello. So um, I didn't want to end that video there and then put out information to that was false or it, uninformative or anything like that. So I have checked a little bit more on the, how the medication is being obtained by these compounding companies. So yes, if, the FDA has a shortage of something, then other compounding companies are allowed to get it, but I guess not in its original form. And please, 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 I am not a doctor. I am not a researcher. I'm not a scientist. There is information on the internet. Go and find it. Talk to your doctors yourself. Um, there is 
you know, another content creator who puts a lot of information out there, who does a lot of research. So, you know, go find somebody else. I am just looking at what I'm seeing on the internet. Um, so I guess you can, these companies can obtain a different form of tizepatide. It looks like a powder form. And if you're on a compound and you have better information, please comment down below. So a powder form of the medication that they mix with something else, like the B12 or something, um, to make a compounded version of the medication, which I don't know, it's still, that's so strange to me. If <laughs> one company is the only company that's legally allowed to distribute it, then the FDA has given them that, like, okay, but now they're in shortage. So the FDA is saying, well, just because of that, we'll allow it. Like, it's just, it's very scary to me. And um, these powders are coming from other, you know, other places. So please just make sure that, you know, you're doing all the things and being proactive if you are using a compound. So all of that being said, um, it is August 2nd. It is currently 2.30. And I just checked the FDA shortage and it has been updated like very, very recently. And all of the Manjaro and Zetbound in all doses are currently showing available. Great, but scary. So I just want everybody to be aware and cautious. So if you're on a compound, um, again, I don't have an opinion. I don't really have any specific feelings about that. Just please, um, you guys know how much I love you. Make sure that you're being careful and that you've done, you know, all of the legwork to be sure that you're getting safe medication. For anyone who is on Zepbound and Manjaro, I I'm so curious, like, what does that mean for us? So we've been in this shortage for so long and now as of today we're not in a shortage anymore and then all the prescriptions are going to continue to be written and being filled and i just kind of wonder how long before we're in a shortage again especially if now are they going to make these compounding facilities um illegal or i don't know how that part of it works but if you're currently on a compound and um, they're going to force that to not be a thing anymore. Like, I don't know. I'm very confused by this. And then if that's the case, we're just going to be back in a shortage again. No? Like, so, I don't know. This is all very crazy. It's very confusing. Um, this has definitely been an adventure these past five months with this shortage and everything. Um, you know, we all know that or... We know if we've been on this adventure for a while or if you've been watching videos, um, Lily has purchased a new um, facility that they're supposed to be doing things. And, you know, they're, they're doing all the right things to ensure that they can get up um, and running quicker and like do, you know, produce more medication. But that hasn't happened yet. And it's not supposed to happen for a little bit of time. So... All of this is just super crazy. So I just want all of you to, you know, be aware, be proactive, know what's going on and, um, you know, make sure that you're advocating for yourself and for your health and all the things. So do the research, check out, you know, just please everybody stay on top of it. If you are currently taking the medication, do everything that you need to be doing to be healthy and, you know, just, I don't know, we, we shall see. It's definitely an adventure. Um, everybody be safe. Everybody be well. Have a wonderful day and I will see you real soon.